Welcome to the Certification Preparation Professional Collaboration Engineer session. My name is Magda and I'm the global lead of the Google Cloud Certification and Digital Badges Go-To-Market team. And joining me today is Kelly Wright, Director, Google Workspace at SADA. Let's take a look at our agenda today. We'll start with reviewing the benefits of certifications. We'll then review some learning resources and Google Cloud Certifications portfolio. We'll then chat with Kelly about her experience with the Collaboration Engineer exam. And we'll recap with some additional resources. So let's get started with certification benefits. There are some interesting market data points we wanted to share with you. First, job posting looking for cloud skills grew over 40% between the first quarter of 2019 and the first quarter of 2021. Over 90% of IT leaders expect to expand cloud services in the next one to three years. However, over 80% identified a lack of internal skills and knowledge as a top barrier to cloud success. Meanwhile, Google Cloud skills are particularly in high demand, commanding the top two top paying IT certifications in 2021 in the US. We frequently talk to our certified community and monitor the, the data, particularly about the impact. And we are really happy to share some of these data points with you. 78% of our certified community members feel more confident in their professional future. 82% can prove cloud skill competency to recruiters. 83% feel their resume is more attractive. And then finally, 85% feel more confident in cloud skills. Achieving certification also gives you access to additional benefits. First, you can distinguish yourself with a Google Cloud Certified Badge and a certificate. Then you receive exclusive Google Cloud Certified swag for our professional level exams. You can network and exchange ideas in the Google Cloud Certified community. And finally, you will receive special recognition at select events. Let's take a look at our learning resources and Google Cloud certifications. We have various modalities to offer for Google Cloud skills learning, starting with the instructor-led courses. We also have on-demand courses. You can take, take anytime, anywhere. Hands-on labs, really important for the real life experience. And finally, our Google Cloud certified program that provides a benchmark for success. So our exams are proficiency and role-based certifications that really help you determine this highest level of proficiency in a given job role. Taking a look at our overall portfolio of exams, You'll notice we have professional level exams, associate level exam, as well as the brand new cloud digital leader exam at the foundational level. So today we will talk more about our professional collaboration engineer exam. And we wanted to introduce to you the overall learning experience, the learning path for this exam. You can find all of this on our external training website. So you can see a variety of modalities to support your learning, practicing, as well as some additional preparation resources, including sample questions, and of course, the exam guide. And just to make sure we are on the same page, let's review the role of the collaboration engineer. So a professional collaboration engineer for Workspace transforms business objectives into tangible configuration policies and security practices as they relate to users, content, and integrations. Through their understanding of their organization's infrastructure, collaboration engineers enable people to work together, communicate, and access data in a secure and efficient manner. Operating with an engineering and solutions mindset, they use tools, programming languages, and APIs to automate workflows. They look for opportunities to educate end users and increase operational efficiency while advocating for Google Workspace and Google Toolset. 
All of the information about the Professional Collaboration Engineer exam is available on the external exam website, including the exact domains that this exam covers. So I definitely recommend you check out the exam guide. Let's also quickly review some of the key data points about this exam. First of all, it's a two hour long exam. You can take it at home via online proctoring or in a dedicated testing, testing center. The exam format is multiple choice and multiple select. There are no prerequisites. However, we strongly recommend you have industry experience and you've been working with Google Workspace. So now I'm really delighted to introduce Kelly. Welcome, Kelly. Hi, Magda. Great to have you here. Please tell us about your role and some of your projects, uh, Google Workspace related projects you are working on. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I, my name is Kelly Wright. I am the director of our Google Workspace professional services practice at SADA and um, experience with Google Workspace projects. Prior to taking this role, um, I was um, a deployment engineer as well. So running through projects and deploying Google Workspace or G Suite or Google Apps for Business, um, whichever iteration it was uh, throughout the last eight years. And we've seen a, a journey of different workspace projects for customers, uh, small to medium size to large enterprise customers, and all of the different technical needs that they have, um, even outside of the migration process. So translating um, a lot of the administration that they do on their current Exchange or Office 365 tenants to Google Workspace. So our teams and myself help our counterparts on the technical side translate what they've been doing up to this point in time into Google Workspace. Thank you. So Kelly, talking about the professional collaboration engineer exam, what is your motivation to approach the exam? Yeah, so our motivation, um, my motivation when taking this exam is to also make sure we're staying um, up to date with what our IT admin counterparts on the customer side would have, uh, would need to take really in order to stay up to date with Google Workspace. Uh, we need to be trusted advisors for our customers and what better way to showcase that we are their trusted advisors with, you know, taking this certification and showcasing that. That's wonderful. Could you then tell us about your preparation experience and maybe even more specifically, some of your recommendations how to onboard a team? How do you coach your team to get certified? Yeah, that's a really great question. So um, with preparation experience, if you have been working day to day inside of the Google Workspace tenants or in your domain, um, run through the exam uh, preparation guides, the study guides, but generally speaking, the exam is going to cover what you do on a day-to-day -day basis or how you would cover emergency situations. Um, so a lot of our IT admins will be very well prepared for that. Um, when onboarding a new team member, we actually have them run through the practice exams here as well as run through a deployment with a customer prior to taking the exam. So um, even if they came from a, you know, sometimes we have customers come in and start uh, working as engineers or even, you know, uh, former exchange admins making the transition. So being able to take that former knowledge um, of, you know, how a mail and collaboration system works and translating that into Google Workspace uh, just takes a little bit of hands-on experience there. And so uh, running a, a new employee through a deployment project, it gets them that knowledge as well. So um, any of our IT admins on the other side, as they're going through those projects, should be able to also uh, take that knowledge and put it towards this exam. Thank you. How would you motivate somebody new to the Google Workspace administration area to actually achieve the certification, maybe set a goal of achieving a certification? 
Yeah. So motivating, um, whether it's a new employee um, or a new admin, um, we want to ensure that, especially as our customer admins are moving to Google Workspace, that they're empowered to be able to administrate in the most um, optimized way. So being able to train customer admins or even walk them through how to translate I um, how to translate their processes over um, also helps with moving them towards this certification and being able to showcase that this was a you know good move for the organization as a whole. So you've been able to showcase your knowledge as an IT admin and that um, they're, you know, you are bringing new and transformed workflows as part of the transition. Thank you. So can you please tell us what's new in Google Workspace? Oh, so many new things, Magda. Um, that's a really great question. And um, when we were looking at uh, the certification. Um, there is a new refresh version to address a lot of the new changes that came to Workspace in the last couple of years. So even just transforming and growing through um, data loss prevention rules and uh, increased um, security even across endpoint management and for your mobile devices, for your computers, especially as everyone is moving or has moved to a work from home status, having that endpoint management has been crucial for the last year. Um, and even new features from the end user side, you know, we have spaces and chat rooms and the ability to collaborate just from one single pane has been immensely um, helpful and transformative for me, even as I'm working, I can chat, I can find a document that we have been chatting about and edit it all in the same window. Um, and yes, so a lot of new tools, a lot of new features, processes. Um, there's been great power given to the IT admins with the security and investigation center tools. So uh, taking the investigation center and uh, increasing it from mail to drive and being able to take action on those logs and not just have visibility into them. So there's been a lot of good and fun changes over the last couple of years. This is really great to hear and thank you so much for the chat and for covering all this. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. So let's uh, recap with some of the additional resources. So if you are interested in pursuing the learning journey, we have some great news for you. So we are excited to introduce Google Cloud Skills Boost, our new destination for Google Cloud Learning with over 700 labs, courses, and certification preparation resources. And to help you build the technical skills that you and your teams need, we are opening up access to Google Cloud Learning for a month at no cost. So just visit g.co slash cloud slash free training. And thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you've learned something new. Bye-bye. <laughs>